me here with 43 FPS. May I have 60 FPS? I get like 70 FPS. Lol. My laptop drops to 170. Great. T I'm not finishing that. No, no, we're not having that conversation. Me running it at 50 frames on low settings. Game can run on a fridge, is that outdated? That's a cool fridge. Meanwhile, mine won't even get me loaded into a game. Alright, that. I'm sorry for that. Teach me your ways. My 1070 is struggling at 1440p low settings. I can make the resolution scale 1080p, then it looks all fuzzy. No need to fear. Chamber Tech is here to save the day. Hey guys, what's going on? It's Chamber here, and today we're going to be maxing out your FPS in Halo Infinite. Halo Infinite released about a week ago, surprised, and honestly, when I first played this game, the FPS was not where it needed to be. Now, for reference, I am on a 10900K overclocked to 5.2 GHz all core and a 6900 XT maxed out, no power limit, fully overclocked. It was really weird, honestly, to me play the game and only get about 140 FPS, about 180 max. I knew something was up. So I spent a couple of days trying to figure it out. Um, I did some streaming earlier this week on Twitch. Go check me out, twitch.tv forward slash chamber tech. I stream every Wednesday and Saturday. And let's just go over some of the cool stuff I found. I'm going to start with AMD drivers just because, honestly, this is the one that actually your driver affects you more. So first of all, I posted on Twitter a couple of days ago on the 17th. I said, if you're playing on Halo Infinite on an AMD GPU, download this driver. Now, this driver was posted on Reddit. I also found it on Twitter somewhere. Um, and this is the Halo Infinite official driver. It was released maybe the day Halo Infinite was released, I believe. It was released around that time. Now, this driver is actually not publicly available on AMD's website. I have no idea why. If you go to their driver, so this is mine. You see on the 17th. I have tested this driver. It's garbage for Halo. You get the you get the same FPS as you do with the older drivers. You're still locked. Don't download this driver. And then the so download this one. I'll link it in the description. All you have to do is just go to this and then click this. It'll start the download. That's all you need to do. I am not gonna download it. I already have it. And now for NVIDIA. So you're going to go to this page, type in NVIDIA drivers, click the first link. You'll get something like this. And a lot of people typically just go here. I'm not going to do that. I'm just personally a fan of just hitting beta and older drivers. So pick your card. So we're going to act like you have a 3080 Ti for this. Hit 3080 Ti. Now, Windows driver type standard DCH. Make sure it's DCH. Then recommended slash beta. Do recommended slash certified. Search. And we're just going to do the latest driver. So it's going to be currently at the time of filming. It's the one for Battlefield 2042. Um, so if you are playing that game, update it. Typically, if you're up, so typically don't actually let NVIDIA auto update your drivers. Don't update your drivers unless currently the game you're playing is having issues like you're running into weird bugs caused by the display driver or you get an update in the game and now you start stuttering. In that case, just upload, update to the latest. You still have issues, go down one your issue should be resolved. Now let's go on to basic graphics settings for both AMD and NVIDIA. For AMD, just right click. Same thing with NVIDIA, but I'm on an AMD card. So let's say you're at home. So we're just gonna hit um, settings, graphics. Don't use Radeon, anti-lag, chill, boost. You can use the image sharpening, but there already is one built into the game. So I don't really see a reason to use it. I'm just gonna disable it. Turn off this, um, copy, just copy these settings. These are the settings I use. These are the ones that perform the best. Um, reset your shader cast also just to make sure there's no issues. Now, all this other stuff is basically just personal preference. Like if you do use recording by AMD, okay. We're just going to hit the performance tab up at the top. And we're going to hit tuning. Now, you'll probably see something like this. We're just going to do custom. Now, the ones that we're going to change are if you have resizable bar, if it's disabled, enable it. Resizable bar is a couple more FPS, but I don't use it because Halo is not the main game I'm playing. And in the other games I play, I do lose FPS and I don't want to spend time having to disable it and enable it. If it says not available, don't worry about it. It's not insanely helpful, but 
I can actually show you. So, so from Halo FPS, I get you get about seven more FPS. So, if you're really looking for SP, FPS, do it. This is also with the Halo driver. So, just the one thing I will do: power tuning, max that out, hit apply. Fan speed. You can actually set a constant fan speed. I'm don't care about noise, so I do 100%, and then I hit apply. The power tuning will already give you slightly more boost, and then if you can, do v do memory timing and set fast timing. That is just going to make your t RAM timings a little bit faster, so that you can, RAM will just be a little faster. It's the same thing in games. Faster RAM, more FPS. I don't have an NVIDIA card, so this is how we're doing the NVIDIA settings. Um, look, there's two of me now. It's crazy. Yeah. So, the settings you want to change. Turn off VSync. Turn on threaded optimization. Now, this is typically more for CPU-bound games. If you're CPU-bound, this is really going to help you turning it on. It's going to allow more threads to be used by, the, by NVIDIA. In this game, you are GPU-bound. It's not going to really help you. Just going to say that. Set texture quality to high performance. Power management mode to prefer maximum performance. Literally the most basic settings of all time. And then for low latency mode, I want you to set that to on. Um, there is no reflex in this game currently. I don't know if there will be one added. Just set it to on. That's all the NVIDIA graphics settings. Now it's actually time for the good old juicy in-game settings. Before we actually get into the in-game settings, we actually have to like figure out what to do before you launch the game. If you're on Steam, right-click, hit Properties. If you're in the Xbox app, there's the three little dots when you hover over it. You'll hit Manage Game. On Steam, go DLC. On Xbox, I forgot what it is. But you want to uncheck the multiplayer high resolution textures. It's going to lower the total size of the game as well. So if you're running low in storage, don't have to worry about that. It also is going to increase your FPS slightly because you're not going to have the high resolution textures. I don't actually notice a visual difference at all. So it's worth it. And also, this would make it so you don't really, you might not have to use dynamic resolution. Now, there are no launch options. Don't worry about that. Just launch the game. All right. I'm in the menu. I've reset all my settings. So I'm in the bare basic just loaded up the game gave whatever settings it gave me already so we're just going to go into the right hand corner hit the cog wheel go to settings we're going to go straight to this video tab now field of view personal preference i just like max i've also tried 103 and it didn't seem that bad um borderless full screen do this there is no actual full screen in this game which is really annoying actually i don't know why makes no sense all right Minimum frame rate. Okay, we're actually gonna set maximum frame rate first. Now, uncheck VSync. There's someone who likes to, I don't know why. You can set a custom frame rate. I'm just gonna do unlocked. I want maximum FPS. Now, <laughs> um, minimum frame rate. Currently I can set up to 120. If you're not getting 120 FPS in this game and you have like a 144 hertz monitor, set it to 120, go ahead. But for me personally, I'm already getting that. I'm getting way higher. I'm turning it off. I'm going to show you later in the video how to actually set it correctly. And like you can set it higher in the config. But for right now, just turn it off if you're already getting 120 FPS and you don't want to lose visual quality for no reason. Quality preset. Just do the low. L literally go low GoPro. Going to be the best looking. Texture filtering. So we're just going to check and make sure all these are low. There are a couple like reflections that you can actually turn off. We can turn volumetric fog also off. Dynamic wind is off. Yep. Ground cover. Effects low. Decal, decal low. Terrain quality low. Now animation quality. I am going to recommend you put this on max. This might lower your FPS a little bit. But the game is going to look significantly smoother. At auto sometimes me and a bunch of other people. We've noticed that it kind of looks stuttery some of the animations and it kind of ruins the game and it it takes the like realness and like the engagement of the game just leave it on max simulation and then flocking off async compute is another interesting setting for me and I, other people i know who are testing on 3090s we're getting better fps with this on obviously test it for yourself go into a match turn it on and off see which one gets higher fps turn off blur I don't know why you'd want that in a competitive game. Turn off screen shake, exposure, full screen effects, and speed lines. Sharpening, set this to whatever you want. 60 is pretty good. 100% is really strong. That's 
just set this to what you like. You're not going to get any FPS lower. Now, for UI, you can scroll down, turn on your uh, FPS counter network statistics like I did. Just they'll show up in the top right. And you'll see UI, visual effects, chromatic aberration, bloom and parallax. Just uncheck these. And that's everything now that's actually inside of the game itself. We can now hit Alt F4. We can go Windows key R and type in app data. So app data, hit enter. We're going to go local. Halo Infinite settings. Now this is where your config is. Now you can right click open. And you might have, it'll be like open with, click show more, click notepad. If that doesn't work, download notepad plus plus offline, I mean online, and then you can get this. There's one setting we're going to change because that's the only one that can actually be changed in here that cannot be changed in game. You're going to scroll down. You'll see minimum frame rate. Mine was set to zero because I set it to off. Now, you can set this up to 960. If you do this, you will get an FPS boost. I even get an FPS boost, about 40. But the visual quality gets significantly lowered when doing it. So I'm personally not a fan of it. If when I'm playing games, I'm not going to use it typically. Unless I'm just trying to show most fps for you guys if you really want your refresh rate just do 240 maybe if you have that 960 is a little insane so zero off 120 is kind of what i'd recommend 60 on a lower end system so you still have some visual quality 240 basically max but if you're insane and a mad lad you can do 960 if you no matter what can get can't get you, cannot get your fps Go into your control panel, so NVIDIA, AMD, I don't care. Go to your display settings. It'll be G-Sync in the NVIDIA control panel. And turn on FreeSync slash G-Sync. That's going to help make it look significantly clearer, especially if you're not getting your monitor's refresh rate at all. Now, I'm actually going to load up in the game. We can actually see what FPS I'm getting now with this config. All right, now we're back in the game. I'm just going to go into a custom game. Just show you literally maximum FPS I can get. Um, 343 Industries. Now, I like this map. It's pretty close quarters also. But only servers off. And uh, just me in the game. So, these are the settings I'm using. Especially if you want to test stuff. See what the maximum FPS you're getting. This is what you can kind of test. So, now let's load into the map. Load into the match now. So, we're just going to jump up. Now, as you can see, this is not extremely clear. That's something... At least I instantly noticed when doing this. The FPS is insane. And I just go like right here. I don't know why. Just because you still get a good view. As you can see, even in like your own custom match and everything. Still at 97% GPUs. As you can see that up there. Above in the top left corner. 96, 95. Um, and yeah. We're getting 280 FPS though. So 300 if you kind of zoom in. Oh, look. Yep. 280. So. If I just set minimum frame rate off of 960, as you can see, that's set right here. We're just going to set it to, is it going to let me set it to, it's going to, okay, 120. Let's just try 120. My FPS is about the same because obviously I'm not hitting it. So let's just turn it off. This is max qual. This is 1080p straight up. 230. I'm not complaining with this FPS at all. For me, the visual quality is worth the slight FPS lost. Go into whenever you're getting the FPS you want, and then stop. Enjoy the game. Yeah. Now, let's wrap up the video. I didn't have a background to finish this, so we're just in whatever this is, I guess. If you did enjoy, hit the like button down below. Subscribe if you guys are new. Follow me on all my other stuff. Um, subscribe here. Like the video if you've made it this far and have not liked it already. And yeah, see everyone later in the next video. Yeah, let me know if there's any other games you guys want me to test and get max FPS in.